power is in the hands of the negotiator. <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about, keep watching and find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, this is Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about the book, The Most Powerful Woman in the Room is You. The author of the book is Lydia Fanet. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is business economics. So I have to say, this is an incredible book, okay? It absolutely woke me up, shook me up, did all the things. So this is a special series and I'm shaking things up by giving you three important points, okay? So the first point was, people do not talk about money because they think they already should know or they're embarrassed, okay? This was so relevant to me because I have been working since I was 14 years old, okay? I was a bagger at Kroger grocery store. I know how to work, I know how to get a check, I know how to do all the things. I don't know how to negotiate a salary. I don't know how to create a job. I don't know how to do a whole bunch of stuff, right? Until I look it up, until I research it. But for some reason, we feel like we're supposed to know these things. But you don't know everything about money. You might need to meet up with a money coach. You might need to talk to someone who can give you a little boost, give you some tips before you go and negotiate. You don't know everything and that is okay, all right? Point number two is always be networking. Now that's not the way Lydia Fanette explained it. She says the most powerful woman in the room knows how valuable it is to network, right? But networking is important because you don't know who that person knows and this person knows and that person knows, okay? And for me in this time in my life, networking is getting connected with coaches and getting connected with groups of people who know more than me. Now, that is so not Kyla Denango. Something I don't know, impossible. Two years ago, maybe even 12 months ago, there's nothing I don't know. What are you talking about? I have gone through such a transformation since December 2021 when I was laid off to 2022 when I had to kick, scratch, and crawl to get any possible thing done to 2023 where now I feel like I'm getting my pace I'm kind of I'm doing a light jog you know what I mean like I'm getting my feet because I acknowledge that I don't know things and the things I don't know somebody else knows you might know your cousin might know your old co-worker might know their boss might know tell me and if you don't know ask them and then have them ask and then I'm all about asking, okay? And so for me, network is about getting around people who know so much more than me. You gotta ask and you gotta admit that you don't know it and you gotta network, <laughs> okay? So we just talked about two things that were really important from the book, but I gotta say, you need to subscribe to the channel. You need to keep following me. You need to keep finding out what I'm talking about every week, okay? Thank you for watching this video with me and let's get into point number three. And so the last thing is, where my notes? And so the last thing that I absolutely love from this book, Lydia Finette says, if you are doing a job well, then you are the expert in that role. You are qualified to earn what you need to for that role, okay? And she goes on to say that you need to research, you need to do all these things to make sure that you have marketable skills and also that you are making what you should be making in your role in your industry. Lydia Finette has been with Christie's Auction House her entire career. She's done some other things, she wrote a book, but she's been with them. When she found out what other auctioneers were making, it was four times her salary. When I heard that, it broke my heart. Like, if I'm doing a great job, stellar, 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 pay me, pay? Why is it so hard to pay me? Well, in this book, Lydia Finette explains it. It is not your company's job to make sure that you are making top dollar. It is not your company's job to make sure that you are taken care of. They don't know your bills. They don't know your struggles. They don't know your whatever. And I mean, it's not like her employer was terrible. The HR guy was like, hey, we need to talk about compensation and whatever. But eventually Lydia decides that she wants to create an entirely new department. She figures out what the salary should be and she goes after it. She goes in there and this is my favorite part. She said she got all her tears out that morning because she knew it was gonna be emotional. And so she got all the tears out so she could go in there and be business. And I absolutely love that because she had to stick to what she knew. Whatever you need to do to get this money to pay me because I know what I'm bringing to the table. Oh, Lydia Finette is powerful, but the book is so incredible because she's sharing stories with you and giving you examples and telling you 
all these different ways that you are the most powerful woman in the room. And so would I reread this book? Absolutely. There are things that I could have applied immediately. <laughs> immediately like I was furiously writing down notes because this book was really really good and I love the title because I just went to the library started looking for confidence books they sent me to a whole section on self-improvement and this one popped out at me right I mean even in the intro she says you picked up a book with the title the most powerful woman in the room is you clearly you have an inkling that you could be powerful and you want to know how to pull it out right and it was true <laughs> it was absolutely true so thank you for hanging out with me today as we discuss the book the most powerful woman in the room is you all right so leave me some comments let me know have you read this book are you interested in books about confidence or business or self-improvement a lot of people are not i was not for a really long time okay so let me know if you read any books like this and i will see you next time on kyla's reading day